Hey everybody, I am back here with another video. This is my latest haul from 30 Street Crafts and it is the Halloween restock that Jessica put up and everything is what, as always, is smells great from what I've smelled so far. I haven't smelled everything and looks super cute and, and all that good stuff. So I did get a few um, like sample samples and things like that and you know, thank you card. So this one, she's got like, hello, hot stuff, thanks, a latte. And she has a handwritten note there on the back. She also sent her business card. Um, I really am digging that tree logo that she has. I think she's had that now for the last couple of restocks. I think it looks really sophisticated, really cute. She also sent two samples of candy. And I adore co uh, cotton candy. I adore candy corn. But it's one of those things that I never really eat until it's around Halloween. So that's awesome. And then I also got two samples here in the little... What are these? The one ounce scent shot cups. This one is frozen and then this one is London Fog. So let me give this one a smell first. This is the one in frozen. I don't recall if this was put up as a um as like a scent that you could have bought. So I don't have a scent description, but let me just see. It smells green. Green and clean. It smells green and clean. What what I do not necessarily smell in here is like a lot of mint or anything like that. But it is a scent that I really, really like. One thing about Jessica's stuff is she does bakery really well. However, I think she is exceptional at um, at kind of like those bedroom scents. A lot of her like clean, floral, green, minty kind of relaxing scents, she really hits it out of the park. So this next one here is uh, the sample, and this one is in London Fog. That's interesting. What is that? Is that a musk? I think it's like a musk kind of scent. It's kind of like earthy, masculine, kind of sexy, a little, a little sexy. So I think that's musk. I, you know, I know this sounds stupid. You think that I um, would have smelled enough wax to really know what musk smells like, but I don't know. But I really like that one, and I know I like those kind of masculine, deep scents. And that's what that reminds me of. So those samples are awesome. I would take both of those upstairs to my bedroom. To my bedroom. Okay, anyway, so getting on with the haul here, I got... Two of these here in Cauldron Bubble, and she really went like overboard, like in a good way, on the glitter. I mean, look at all. I've, I had to wash a ton of glitter off my fingers before I filmed this video because there was just so much glitter on it. So this one is in Cauldron Bubble. Now, one thing that she did do is she said that she's not going to spend a lot of time anymore doing the very descriptive scent descriptions. Normally, it's kind of like a whole story. She'll throw a lot of adjectives in there, you know, like a relaxing, clean scent, you know, like... um you know, zesty lemon or things like that. So pretty much she's just going to tell you what's in here and she, you know, that way it'll save her time and she'll be able to spend more time like, you know, on the wax and everything like that. So anyways, that is totally fine. So this one here is carrot cake, severed earlobes, cream cheese, frosting, and marshmallow. Um, and there is no fragrance oil for severed earlobes. So in each of these Halloween blends, you'll see that she kind of like inserted some cute Halloween verbiage and stuff like that. But I, I'll admit when I first saw them, I was like, I wonder what severed earlobe smells like and <laughs> the later she had to clarify so I really like this one it's very very sweet I don't smell a whole lot of carrots I don't think I've had any carrot cake yet in a in a tart sorry I don't know what the, what's wrong with the camera there it smells just kind of like a sweet creamy um bakery scent is really what I'm getting out of here it's kind of like the marshmallow maybe it's the marshmallow that I'm smelling the most but I don't necessarily smell carrot cake. Uh, so I will definitely have to melt that one. But it's still like a really nice bakery scent. So I'm still digging that one. Now this next one here, I got four of them. So you can see I got a stack of three here. And this one is is in um, Winifred Sanderson. And once again, just look at all of that crazy amount of shimmer on the top. Look how pretty that is. That is just really, really nice. Really cute cupcake tart. This one is toasted marshmallow, brains, crisp leaves, pine, and berries. I got a lot of these because I am such a fool for pine. I love, you know, pine scents, cedar scents, whatever kind of woodsy scents. I'm all about those. This actually, um, I think the crisp, the crisp leaves scent is the strongest in here. I'm kind of just getting that like, kind of like freshly fallen leaf scent. And I'm also definitely smelling the toasted marshmallow. That is pretty strong in here. I don't necessarily smell a whole heck of a lot of pine in here, which is fine because the scent itself is really nice. And maybe I can smell a strawberry? I'm not sure, but it, it kind of smells like, um, 
like a clean, relaxing, sweet scent. Yeah, it really mostly smells like, to me, the crisp leaves and the marshmallow. But it's a really, really nice um, fall scent. Okay, the next cupcake here, and once again, just look at the glitter on the top. This one is in Fire Burn. So this is Amber Romance type, fresh cotton, ozone, cashmere, musk, and rotten flesh. I don't know what Amber Romance type is. That sounds like some kind of Victoria's Secret thing, which would make me think perfume. Some kind of perfumey scent. This is mostly the fresh cotton scent. This comes off as a, um, as kind of like a very pretty complicated laundry scent. Yeah, it, that's really what it is. It's really nice. It's really nice. I don't, I don't necessarily smell a whole lot of the cashmere and the musk or anything that's like really heavy. It's more just like a light laundry. So that one is nice. And I am coming around to laundry scents. Partially actually, and thanks to 30 Street Crafts, um, I ran into a couple laundry scents that I really like. So that one is nice. Look at all the glitter on my fingers right here that's getting all over me. Okay, this next one here is also super cute. Looks like a big dollop of blood um, on the cupcake tart. And this one here is in Vampire Nibbles, and it is um, a whole bunch of blurry words. Deep orange, fresh blood, peach, apricot, and blackberries. This is good. The orange is strong, and the uh, peach is really strong in here. No perfumey note. I, I don't necessarily smell blackberries, but there's no like weird undertone from a blackberry scent in here. It's just like very authentic fruit. It's really good. If you guys like really bright, fresh fruit scents, you would probably really love this one, and I would have gotten more of that, but you know, with like fall coming, I'm just not as much in the mood for like those really bright, fresh fruit scents, so that's the reason I only got one, but the scent is really, really good. Okay, this next one, I absolutely love how this looks with that turquoise and like the gold shimmer on top. That is a really cool looking color combination, and her chunks are always some of my favorite because she's got the dual color chunks within the chunk, and I love when, you, when she cuts it, you can just see it so so clearly so look at that color combination that one is probably one of the most awesome pieces of waxes I've, I've ever seen this one is toa frog cranberry relish red apple sugar and vampire saliva this is definitely strongest on the red apples and it borders on a slightly perfumey red apple slightly that's mostly what i smell it's very apple dominant but yeah, that one would definitely be nice to melt for fall. And I just still cannot get over how absolutely um, pretty that chunk is. I'll put it that way so you can see the little chunks there. It's really nice. Actually, I'll move this guy out of the way. No offense to the cupcake, but look at that. That is so cool. Like, look at all of these. Like, look at this one coming up here, too. And she, like I said, the glitter on this one is just overboard crazy. So you get the chunks. And look at that. Oh, my God, my eyes. I'm blinded over here. Blinded by the light. Or something like that. Okay, anyway, so that is uh, awesome looking. And this one here is in Eastwick. It's vanilla champagne, pecans, mummy wrappings, pralines, pralines, whatever you say, and caramel sauce. There is something in here I don't really like. And um, I'm trying to figure out what it is from looking at it. Because I've smelled this before. I've smelled this type of scent before. Is it pralines? Because I've had stuff that's like pumpkin pecan waffles and stuff like that. And that does that one's okay. What is it in here? Is it the vanilla champagne? No, it can't be. It smells okay. It's just there's something in here that doesn't necessarily agree with my nose. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe this one. I think it is the vanilla champagne I don't really like. Um, I don't necessarily smell caramel. I don't necessarily smell pecans either. I don't know. I can't describe that one. I, I really am, am struggling with that one. So if anybody else out there has got that one, let me know um, what it is that you guys are picking up in that one. It's kind of throwing me for a loop. Okay, this next one here, and I think this one has the most glitter out of everybody. I mean, look at my fingers here going crazy. I don't think there's like any wax on here that is not covered by a crap ton of glitter on this chunk. I mean, seriously, like that's nuts. This one is in tombstones, fig, blackberry pie, dried octopus hearts, and brown sugar. Oh, this is good. You darn it, I should have gotten more of this one, and the reason I didn't was because of the blackberry pie scent. You guys know me and blackberry. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be the funky blackberry or like the fresh blackberry blackberry, and this is a fresh blackberry pie scent. No undertone. Oh, this one is really good. It's also kind of unique. I mean, I can smell the blackberry pie. 
I think it's the fig. The fig is making it smell a little different than some of the other stuff I've smelled. It's a really great fruity bakery scent. It is excellent. This is real. This one is absolutely excellent. I really hope that one comes back in a restock sometime because that one is definitely worth getting. Oh, and there's the, um, the chunks on the side. Like once again, just look how adorably awesome that is. And look at all the glitter on my fingers. Sorry. I'm going to just have to deal with this for the rest of the video. Okay. This next chunk here, um, this one here is, I got two of them and this one is in, uh, Benjamin Frankenstein. And look at that. That just kind of screams winter. I love all the shades of gray. Oh, shade of gray, 50 shades of gray. And, um, and all of that like silver glitter on the top. I mean, this one is once again, it just looks like winter. It looks like Christmas is coming and snow and everything like that. This one is gingerbread, applesauce, caramelized pear, and ghost sweat. I didn't know that ghost sweated. You would, I don't know. They seem like they would be cold all the time. I don't know. Do ghosts use blanket? I don't know. Um, this one is nice. It definitely smells like the holidays. I can definitely get the gingerbread in here. It's real strong. I can get the applesauce, but it's not super strong. This one does not scream apple to me. If there are no, it's in there. It's in there, but the gingerbread is the strongest. It's hard to tell if there's pear in there because pear is not something that I smell a whole heck of a lot. But that is a really, really nice blend, you know, especially with the gingerbread and the fruit scents. Definitely smells like the holidays. This next chunk here, and this one definitely looks like, um, it definitely looks like fall. And I got two of them here. And this one I got a corner chunk. And this is Eye of Newt. And if you look at it there, also super, super, super cute. Look at that. Super awesome. So this one here is mold cider, apple, pear, zombie, toenails. Ooh, that's gross. Oak and fresh greenery. <laughs> Definitely a very cinnamony, hearthy apple scent. Yeah, this one smells really good. This is a, this is a better apple than the, the whatever. There was one other one I had that had apple in it. And this one, for some reason, just smells like a better apple to me. I don't know if it's the same fragrance oil. I just like this one better. I'm not necessarily picking up a whole lot of like fresh greenery kind of scent. Mostly coming off as like a, that mold kind of cider scent. Oh, that's probably, maybe that's why it smells better to me. Maybe it's that mold cider scent versus the apple scent. I'm not sure. But that one is, is um, really nice and very fallish. Okay, this next one here, I got two of them. And this one here is in Wing of Bat. And this one to me just looks like a Valentine's Day with like the really cute bright colors and I just love the contrast and once again all of the shimmer on the top of this one here. So this is black raspberry, spider legs, vanilla, and rice krispie treats. Oh, I love black raspberry. It's blackberries and raspberries, I'm pretty sure. It's one of my all time favorite scents. It's just a fruit scent that, I don't know, to me it's kind of like dark and mysterious, very full smelling, if that makes any sense. I love this one. And then you get like the, the sweetness of the vanilla and the Rice Krispie treats or it's probably like a more of a marshmallow type of scent. Excellent. This one is absolutely excellent. I would absolutely request for that one to come back in, in, and I would get that one in like six of them. Okay, the next one here, I got three of them and this one here. And this one also just screams winter and fall, doesn't it? I mean, look at those cute, adorable chunks and those um, winter colors and then the nice like ice blue on the top with the sprinkles. I mean, it's just, it's just beyond, beyond cute. So this one, Salem Nights, Ozone, Fresh Air, Goblin, Breath, Disgusting, Musk, Blue Sugar, and Blue Sugar. I really love this one. I love this. And you know what? There, this really smells like something I've gotten from Lush. What? is this this smells amazing you can get the blue sugar but it's there's something else in here what is this i've smelled this before i love this one i want to marry it it's really nice um it's awesome it's blue sugar but it's not like super obvious blue sugar because there's something else going on in here that just smells amazing and maybe it's the ozone and the fresh air it doesn't necessarily have like the crispest smelling scent. It's not the crispest kind of scent. It's kind of more sexy to me. Um, it's just really nice. I, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why this reminds me of a Lush scent. 
It just really does. It's got something in there that really reminds me of, of something I've smelled before that I really love. And I can't, I haven't smelled any wax before that smells like that, um, I will say. And once again, that's another example of how Jessica hits her bedroom scents out of the park. Um, and in particular, at least to me, she really comes up with some really, really good ones. Okay, now moving on into the cameos. This one here is in um, Sally Owens. This is a secret and mystical blend, but sweet and uncomplicated, also squishy eyeballs. This is like, what is this? Is this, is this, this smells like caramel? This smells like bakery. When I smell it, it smells like bakery. I'm pretty sure that she actually wrote like on her web, on her Facebook page, like what this one mostly smelled like. And I don't recall her saying that it smells like bakery, but it kind of has like a caramelly bakery scent to me. So maybe I'm just like way off because I don't necessarily remember her saying that. Okay, this next one here is candy corn and it's buttery vanilla candy with entrails. I like this one because it's sugary, but it's not like overly candy-ish. Sometimes candy can be like a little bit too candy-ish for me. This one is just very, very sweet. Very sweet. And it does kind of smell like butter, like melting butter. Actually, I think it was Jenny one time that kind of clarified that for me because I was trying to like, trying to think, why does something smell like butter when I like pick up a stick of butter from the fridge and smell it? It doesn't necessarily smell like anything, but the scent of butter smells like butter. And then I think um, at one point on a video, she said it smells like melting butter. And I was like, that's it right there. Because I don't think that like cold butter necessarily has a scent, but like spreading it on toast or, you know, like throwing it in a frying pan or something like that. It's that melting hot butter kind of scent. That's what it was. And when she said that, I was like, oh, that makes total sense. So thank you, Jenny. Okay. This next one here is witch bait and it's caramel apples coated with chopped peanuts and black cat's tails. Not my Sam, not my black cat Sam. She likes her tail. Please, Jessica, don't take her tail. She likes it. She's fat. She needs it for balance. This is nice. Nice caramel apple, very slightly on the um, perfumey side of a, car of a caramel apple. Most caramel apples, I notice, tend to kind of smell a little bit like that, to me at least. But it's still very nice. I don't necessarily smell peanuts, and I don't smell a black cat tail. Although, I don't think my cat's tail smells like anything in particular. Okay, now this last one here, I got... Um, four of them so I got three of them there and then I picked up a fourth pack here and this one I had a feeling would be my favorite so I wanted to really stock up this one is Jillian Owen secret and mystical blend but smoky and mischievous herbaceous and the tongue of a dead man I really like this one it does smell like woodsy to me it's kind of refreshing but also relaxing at the same time I mean it's not like a super energizing scent Maybe there's lavender in here. I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm smelling, but it's a beautiful, beautiful blend. So I hope that if, if you guys got to order, um, that you ordered this one, because I think she said this was her favorite and I can see why. And this is another example of like that bedroomy kind of scent that she really knocks out of the park. It's really, really good. And it is slightly smoky. And maybe that's why I'm picking up a woodsy scent, but it is really, really nice. So that one is awesome. But anyways, you guys, that's it. That is the whole haul here from 30 Street Crafts or AKA 30 Street Wax. I'm not actually sure what she calls it herself. Let's see, 30 Street Crafts. But then her Facebook group is 30 Street Wax. So maybe either or, but then this says 30 Street Crafts. 30 Street Crafts is what I'm gonna go with from now on. But anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.